Hi, welcome to Lakeshore RV Center. Let's take a look at your beautiful new 2022 Wildwood X Lite 261 BHXL. We've got the power awning out there to show you how big it definitely stretches away from the body of the camper. Up front, you've got a power tongue jack to help getting on and off of the back of your vehicle. We've got the centerline hitch installed for you, 12 volt battery and battery box. Down low, there is a switch that is a quick battery disconnect that's going to help keep the camper from draining down the battery when you're not using it. Two of your 30 pound propane or 20 pound propane tanks are all filled up. The guys went through and tested and inspected the systems for you, so she's ready to start camping. On your storage compartment doors, you have magnets to hold the door up and in place. You've got your 30 amp service cable tandem axle and along the side here you're going to have your fresh water fill station so you'll put the hose in and that'll fill your onboard holding tank and city pressurized water plug in for your 30 amp service low point drain valve right there and your release for your gray and black water holding tanks the bumper has caps on the end. Pop those and you have a place to store your sewer hose. Camera on the back is optional, so it is prepped and ready for the power. We do have a spare tire for you. Access to your water heater for service and maintenance. And then you have a black tank sewage flush. You'll be able to put a fresh water hose to this and it'll help flush out your black tank. To keep that smelling a little bit better. Quick connect for fresh water going out if you need to spray off kids or critters outside kitchen it's going to have the suburban griddle and a pull out and have hook up for propane right there and then a nice outside fridge and then inside here you're going to have your quick connect line for your propane as well as the quick connect hose for that fresh water uh, outlet that was on the back of the camper we just saw. Hookups for cable and satellite and power if you want to put a TV outside. You've got a button right there. That is for your power jacks. So you push that and the rear jacks will come down. Up above the big window outside your dinette is going to be outside marine grade speakers. Up front we have another pass through storage made good use of the door and put a dry eraser on there for reminders for yourself. Sewer hose, electrical adapters, the remaining parts and pieces for your Husky centerline hitch for towing. And then we also have a power tongue, uh, power jack for your stabilizers up front. Nice solid steps walking in. When you first walk in your camper, you're going to have a panel here. This is going to allow you to check your battery level, your fresh water, your black, and your gray tank levels. You'll have a water pump. If you're running off of your onboard holding tanks, you'll be able to turn that water pump on to pressurize the water through the camper. If you're running off of city water, go ahead and leave that off. It is getting bypassed then, so leave it off. Water heater, some LED lighting that would be for underneath your awning and then overhead lighting power awning switch and then you do have this dimmer that if I hold my finger down it will raise and dim the overhead lighting if I tap it they'll come on and off booth seating on your dinette you do have some pop-out drawers with two big totes underneath both booth seating some great storage underneath your bottom bunk USB ports for both the upper and lower bunk beds nice bathroom with a full-size shower and pull close curtain and foot flush toilet storage and access to your plumbing at your sink overhead lighting and a 
medicine cabinet. There is also an additional strap here that secures here to keep the door closed when you drive down the road. Hi everybody. Digital thermostat for your furnace and AC. You're just going to touch this bar button to go through the setting modes until you get which one you want to operate. You do have a 12 volt fridge, so nice big deep freezer above on this Everchill and big fridge storage below. There is a latch to secure those doors for transport. Microwave above your hood with light and fan. Three panel. Oh, I just turned the fan on. Let me turn that off real quick. Um, three burner gas stove top with cover. You flip that up and out of the way. Makes a nice little backsplash for you. Oven underneath. You have some beautiful LED backlighting for your knobs. And you're going to simply select which burner you want or which temperature you want your oven at with an Ignite. Double sink with cover, drying rack that is. And we also have your keys to the castle on your faucet here. And great storage all the way above. Sofa does have a little spot to kick your shoes and hide those when you walk in. And that does drop down for additional sleeping. Into the master bedroom. Wardrobes on both sides with a little Heidi storage. And then we also have USB ports on both sides of the queen bed. Up underneath the bed. Access to the pass-through storage. As well as four additional storage bins. And kick storage underneath. And there are gas struts to help hold this bed up for you. So it's not a two-hand job anymore to put those uh, goodies away. And then on the side here, one more bonus feature. Laundry hamper. And then on your windows, you do have pull-down blinds. Give them a little tug, and they will slowly roll back up. Speakers are built into the ceiling above. And your AC is ducted up above in the furnace down below and that right there is a look at your new wildwood 261 bhxl if you have any questions please give me a call april welch at lakeshore rv center 231-788-2040